so it's it's almost similar to lookup related value the only difference here is that instead of pulling all kind of instances so like in lookup related value you can look for a text field a date field a numeric field a currency or a instance field aggregate related instance only lets you look for single or multi instance field using multi instance fields so if you remember in the lookup related value we were only able to use single instance as a source right that was yeah. the thing we were only using but here if suppose you have to bring a instance field on a particular related business object which happens to be a multi instance field then uh, it would be a aggregate related instance so it's it's basically the same function is being done it's just that first difference is the source field you no know, you can not just use single instance of course you can use single instance as well but you can also leverage a multi instance field so if you face a multi instance situation of course you know that you cannot go with a lookup related value you would immediately prefer a aggregate related instance the second thing what happens to be here is that instead of so lookup related value lets you look for date fields text constants and a uh, uh, numerical currency fields but here this only lets you look up for single or multi instance field so it's basically you're aggregating a single or multi instance field on a instance field okay so okay. we'll we'll follow the same example as yesterday we'll see what all can we do with the dependence field so we knew right that uh, earlier when we were uh, creating all these esis and EMS, e emis we knew that dependent is a multi instance field right so suppose yeah. here i have to pull a value of all my dependents i am building a report and maybe i have to compare a value of all my dependents i am not filtering out those dependents or maybe i am filtering out those dependents but the value that will be returned will be more than one right maybe i am looking at both female dependents uh, or maybe more, there there might be more than one female dependents for this so maybe i am looking at a particular info uh, about my female dependents then i would go with a aggregate related instance so let me just create that The object again will be worker because maybe the my report is built on worker. I am trying to bring this information on the worker primary bo, yeah. and uh, this will be the very first calculation, which will be happen to be aggregate related instances. So over here now the source field. If I click on uh, by category, let me just show you randomly. If you look at the source field, you will be able to select both single and multi instance over here. Let me just pick up a random uh, basic bio thing. Yeah, so if you will see, uh, for lookup related value, only single instance fields work, right? But the good part of using aggregate related instances, you can work with multi instance field as well. So that's 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 yeah. the uh, probable, uh, I will say, use case of this. Whenever you face a situation, we have to where you have to bring in a value of not a single. Let me shut this entire thing all together because it's not working.
it saved i i guess uh, i do, i even don't know the password the moment i log into the cf robo it automatically logs in for me with the username and password it saved under this yeah. so whoever provided you can you ask them to give it to you because they didn't give me the they only gave me this robo uh, password they never gave me the password of the tenant okay okay so that's what so i i guess are you also logging the same way like you re- open a remote server and then you log into the cf robo so here uh, uh tranti the situation here is that we are only looking at information about female dependents so if you can see i i was able to bring a multi instance field here and the condition i'll br- i'll build a true and false condition just like yesterday to only look at female dependent values so like again a uh, good point to remember here is that your true and false will always be built on the related business object and not on the f- object on which you're building the field okay yeah sorry i'm only looking for female dependents right so my uh, condition here should ideally be gender i should only filter on gender female here frequently in the selection list yeah i guess there's a lag today for you right yeah a little bit yeah and i'll be selecting female here so yeah i've built a condition to only extract those dependents which are of type female now fields to aggregate now in this particular value what you're going to see is only instance field you cannot use aggregate related instance to bring a date or a numeric or basically you cannot bring non instance field using aggregate related instance you just cannot the only fields you can bring is of type instance so maybe if i want to bring passport details of all the uh, female dependents of the employees i will select this maybe if i want to uh, bring in the nationalities of these dependents i will select this or maybe i if, if i want to see the ssn number of these females i will select that so if you will see if you you cannot bring in their birth date you cannot bring in values like their age you cannot bring in any text field like their name all of that cannot be brought in in order to bring all those kind of things you will have to do a esi which is extract single instance and then build a lrv for those dependents so that's that's a catch here or you can directly use this bo in your report and in the adjacent column field you can simply look for that value but aggregate related instance does not let you bring non instance field in the lookup value or in the fields to aggregate okay here you can only select one at a time if you want to bring a more up something else beyond that you'll have to just copy this field and change whatever you're trying to aggregate so suppose apart from work address if you're trying to bring bring in their passport details you'll have to just copy this field and uh, use fields to aggregate as passport okay. okay now the next function here that we'll be looking up is lookup value as of date so lookup value as of date is basically in workday da- data is stored as of effective dates right So suppose when you were hired, Shravanti. Suppose in your organization, okay, you had a manager for first six months, and your team was different. Imagine, let's imagine this kind of situation. So your superb was maybe A B C, and your manager happened to be uh, Mr. A. Now after six months, maybe you took a transfer and you moved to a X Y Z org with Mr. X as your manager. Okay. Ah, uh, so currently, let me just give this hypothetical scenario for you. So when you were hired as of the hire date your manager was uh mr a with your superb as abc okay then after 6 months you moved to a different org maybe there was a reorg or something done and you moved to an xyz org with manager as mr x so in such a scenario many a times what happens is that now if you run a report you may suppose you have built a report which is pulling details like the supervisory organization of the worker the manager so if you run the report as of today 
it will show your organization to be xyz okay and your manager to be mr x but uh, maybe the stakeholder who needs this report is not concerned with their current data they are concerned with the data as of their hire date means who was the particular person's manager or their supervisor or which of supervisory org they were sitting in as of their hire date okay so of course there might be people who might stay in org organizations for a span of 2 to 3 years and they might have moved multiple teams in that span so of course the supervisory org and the manager tends to change as a result of that so uh, if at all then this is a very important thing to remember if at all the transaction record is stored in workday as of that date so if if the person was hired as a part of workday system or their historical data was brought in uh, while workday was being implemented for your partner then uh, you will be able to look for that data but suppose uh, what if when the when you were hired your uh, your particular organization might be using oracle or sap as your hr record system right workday was not even there and when you guys move to work day maybe that historical data was not brought in uh, your organization might have decided sap or oracle so in that situation you cannot pull that data but if there is a record saved in work day related to this particular uh, priti uh, information I as in uh, if people's higher record have been brought so i'm saying if your higher record is stored into work day and uh, uh, then you can bring in data as of a particular date into work day and that is when we use look up value as of date when you're looking for data as of a particular date in work day then you rely on look up value so i'm saying when you when you have to look for a particular data as of a particular date in work day then you go with this look up value as of date field yeah so what i was trying to explain is that if you have to look up at a value as of a that particular point i were you able to understand it then again Hello? i lost again i can't hear you please session to close calculated field and matrix report both okay but today yeah. it's just not happening the wifi is not really okay okay 